these are some feel-good frags that are going to be excellent for him to get that confidence going for him to be willing to take some fights later on in the half. Oh, no. Look at the setup for Misfits. Only two people really on this bomb site. One can easily and probably will be smoked off by the stairwell. That leaves Twist alone on the site here for the moment. He's going to try and take the shot. Sick tries to help him out. He comes up the stairwell, but he's going to go down immediately. Olaf with a triple kill, and that leaves Sean and Relics. They might as well just run away here. There's nothing they could do. Huge rocks to change and you want to get back into it. Now is the time to prove that it was worth it, that it made sense, and Crims will take down Relics for a four-on-four four situation. A good shot from JW, controlling the bomb site for the moment. The full rotation in for Misfits, and they can't really stop the bomb plant, but Sean Gears with a great shot taking down JW, and Sick rotating in on the other side. He's going to get the click in, and that leaves Flusher and Olaf Meister. Two on two, the bomb only just going down. Sean picks up one more kill. The flank is in, though, Flusher. They haven't seen him yet. He's going to try and sneak through with the... He does get caught, and now a lot of damage in. He takes down Twist. Sean's still in the bomb. He's holding it down. He's not... Oh, he gets it! No, he doesn't. Just the last second there. Jesus. I think Sean was on it for enough time that it would have been down to the last second. ...is thinking about rotating towards B. He's playing very passive CT right now on A. This is Sean Gares, and Sean Gares is waiting. He has no way to set up for a peek, so he has to wait and hold the angle, and he had to win that duel. Dennis is there to open up the site, though, and now it's on Relics to hit some shots. Boom! Oh, that's perfect. Right before the plant comes through, Dennis goes down and Relics buying valuable time for his teammates to rotate in. They know the bomb is here. He's going to miss the shot. Oh, actually gets the one on all of Meister there. Can he get the next one to Relics? Coming up with a kill. It looked like it was about to be off then, but he takes down Crims as well. He as well. He is able to yes. communicate in the rounds. Definitely going to be having a hand in things. And if we were, you know, like listening in on the comms, probably hit just him shouting like, don't move, stop. Because look at that hard rotation that there was that was there a second ago for Tyloo. They had three players ready to greet them on the A site. Now they take down Captain Mo. There's a single player here that Nip will have to deal with just because they waited 20 seconds. Pretty good flashbang to allow them to get out from long. Now they're just charging the bombs. Now the smoke is up as well. 8C up there. He's going to be going down. He gets the kill on Pith, and that's not at all bad. Still leaves them with a chance to win the round here, but they need to get these kills through Attacker and somebody. He charges him with a USP, gets the headshot, but he's going to go down to Forest, and Attacker will be dropped. Forest hitting the quad kill in the pistol round. It's still early on in this first map, but, but very tricky. JKS with a great shot. Adder going to be taking down Seized, and as you said, it's a buy round for Navi. They need more out of this, but they're not being allowed on the bomb site. There we go. Simple finds the headshot on Adder. The hero from yesterday for Renegades, but this is definitely slowing things down here for Navi. JKS still alive on the site. Another headshot for JKS. That's two already for him, and he's still alive. And they aren't the able to trade. Yustillo's coming in from behind in T-Spawn already. He's going to be there with the almost perfect timing. There's no way Navi are going to expect it this soon, and even if they do, the rest of Renegades are going to preoccupy them from the other angles, so... Tough call here for the terrorist side. How do you fight your way out? You're sandwiched in, and you don't even know it. And Yustilo is even better right now, walking into apartments. Navi, so much trouble here. It'd be a miracle if they could get out of this 2v3. He's walking in, he sees one, gonna check it, doesn't realize there's another guy in the corner. And that's simple, he gets one more kill. The headshot in, and somehow it ends up in a 1v1. Simple, there's the ace! He picks up every single kill and saves Navi from what was almost sure doom. DM would have had a lot of information to go off of there. The footsteps plus the bomb drop. They know the bomb is mid. Now it's moving up on short. The shot there. Guardian not going to be able to pull the trigger fast enough, though. They've been found out. 30 seconds. Edward goes down. Knife flick from Guardian. We need that and a lot more of it. And this is time to shine. He's going to have time to put the bomb down before they can get there. But when it's done, he's going to be sandwiched in. He has to fight his way out. He can't really get back into apartments or anything else. Oh, are they going to let him slip? Yeah, they're a bit slow with the rotation. In fact, now... He's in a slightly better position than he just was. Goes for the fight, takes down Adder, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Guardian, been sleeping for a while in this map, but he might be back finally. JKS trying to get out of Kitchen. Actually wants Guardian to come and peek him, and he's wasting a lot of time right now. The double kill right now on the Slovakian player, hiding behind the benches, going for the peek, and there it is, the triple kill, and Guardian going to be able to clutch it. Spaniards are superior in every way. <laughs> yep, I guess that's... Fernando Alonso, obviously, yeah. being the uh, alpha and all of that. Well then, they've done some serious damage here. No kills obtained yet. They don't have this information that obviously device and care will be low, but Terran. that's certainly going to help. Going to wrap around Glaive there. Good shot on the head. Come from the UMP, and there's the shotgun from Dupree. So we're seeing it used on the CT side because Economy Limited, and he's got another Ooh. one. Dupree, he's got three. Right. Dupree's down below in the decontamination stairs. Dupix, he's already gone into position as well. They get to Turnpike. That'll help out support device's position, but a lovely shot already coming in from Mixwell. Starts to send shivers down the spines of Astralis and gets them a little bit antsy. They have to move down below. 
So it's really a game of wits at this point in time. Glaive's going to bring back up and give a support need. Molotov at squeaky, but he gets Molotov off the second he goes the other direction. This becomes a bit of an issue. He's locked out of the round. Device hits Rush. As they manage to get through slower and gets caught out because they can't transition in time. They have to be more sure of their rotations. Time is a factor, though. Five seconds, Kierby. One versus one. Nafly, I think, just got there in time, and he's going to get the plant in. But the one versus one will commence. Bypass due to the flash. Problem is, does Nafly hear this? Does he read it? Does he spot Kierby in time? I think he's read that he's gone to the left, so he'll play a tighter angle. Doesn't matter where he's gone on the stairwell now. As soon as he enters the site, there's a line for Nafly to look through. And he spots him jumping in, in the air. Surely has to hit that shot. Very low on HP. Falling back without taking damage and getting a kill. But now it's up to Device to hold it off. Molotov goes wide of the smoke. has gone for the full wall. No gap. Device needs to transfer. And I think at this point, climb to heaven or just sit CT. He's going to try and sit with the rail. As a response to this, Dupree gets a lot closer onto the main entry. They're going to hear him jumping around inside of that. Device is trying to catch them on the wrap. Can just barely see them, but he gets two for one. They line it up. They think they're in safety in his angle. So they push them back. Okay, yes, they're causing movement from the CTs, but movement that's easy to take back. As soon as they rotate out of radio, Zipix just climbs back up the ramp. Device, actually, okay, take it back. In this case, is the one to do it. Guess what? Now they've got radio covered off. Device hits Mixwell on Turnpike. Everything's back to normal, and they get nothing out of that first exchange. Yeah, indeed. And that's the first frag going against them as well. Nafly, low HP. Can't really do much yet. Just hope you can find a kill, but Kiabi just mowing them down. Not really breaking a sweat there, and he actually finished up with four kills. A an advantage, if you will, for the T's getting into the B site, because they're all there, and the two players from ramp are not. They've just arrived now. And now it's a three versus three because Rush is taking down Kierby with Nade. Bomb planted left side silo from ramp approach. Can be covered off in the post plant by, t by Zipix, by Device, and Glaive, who's inside a control room, finds two. Naf and Rush go down. That's pretty much round over. Hiko's got a shotgun. Yeah. He has a kit, but a shotgun in this situation? Too far. Oh, well, yeah, he, he pulled out the PT-1000 at one point there. This one's a little bit more favorable for him, even though he gets the headshot. Glaive takes him down. Back surprise you guys are moving on to the playoffs but it must be noted despite going 0 and 4 in pistols yesterday you guys only lost five rounds and today to a, a much tougher opponent only nine rounds so I, i'd say you guys are playing pretty fucking unreal right now i know the word it's uh, you know family show yeah Ali instead that will take down a dread neo although it's not his gun that fires it's a body in front of him that goes down at the hands of tataz apparently as he's changed his name for this game Gonna try and work together with Neo in beside the rock and it's Snacks that's gonna pick up Hobbit. Doja goes back into him and the boost for the T's to see above the rock gives them the angle onto Taz. It's all on Neo. Six HP. Bomb not yet planted. A minute and six in the round. They can slow this down. Figure out where Neo's gone, but he gets a headshot on Zeus. Doja still finds the round. We'll show his hand and go for the fake here at the start before they go in towards B. We'll see what happens there. Issue is that Zeus is just taking the bomb toward drop. That's the most fortified position right now. Bialy's on one side, Pasha's on the other. If they don't get this bomb out at 17 seconds, that's round alone. First kill goes the way of Hobbit, follows up. He gets taken down. This is where the bomb has to make it in. Zeus is missing shots, it's dropped. Nine seconds, that's the round. Moe's nowhere in contention to do anything of it. And at this point, he's got to get away. If he's going to stay alive, it's got three seconds to die and before getting money injection into the next round. Down goes Snacks immediately after by Adren. Bialy's got a strike now. Bottom of the ramp already, and all Pasha has to do is stay alive, get information, and he does better than that. He'll find Hobbit on the way through. Second kill on Zeus, they'll hold for the plant. It's Adren on an AK, but Bialy's close by to complement the AWP. Good spot on the flash that goes over. Knows he's up close, misses the shot, does Pasha, and down goes his teammate. Lovely Ooh. shot on the AK from Adren. He swung wide at cannons, but what a shot from Pasha. Way to catch them. I but know. I will agree with you. We've seen games where Virtus Pro have been very T side. Whenever they play Navi, they usually get 11 rounds T side. Perhaps also testament to Navi on this map. Well then, here we go. Forces of armor. Neo with the smoke, two flashbangs, and aggressive play there from the CTs towards Long A. Going to be trying to find that first frag, but looks like Neo will be leading the charge towards danger. Mo is going to get completely clotheslined there, and there's going to be a full command towards the A side. Good shots back from Neo, gets a Dren, Bialy follows up, Virtus Pro, chance to try and get inside of the site, they'll get a bomb down off of this, it's Hobbit and Zeus to rotate on flank, and Zeus makes no mistake on arrival to get Ooh. one, but downed already, and they now know Hobbit. I take it back, I thought they would know that he was coming in that direction as well, they don't have that information, but it is just him in a one versus three, and as soon as he jumps around the corner, Bialy's waiting at stables. No one peeking to give him information, Taz tries to go, that pulls his attention back, and Bialy, this is a qualification map, the winner's map, of this group. Molotov off on the arch on the way in. 
Smoke's still out. Let's drop where the action is. Wow. Trade's favorable for Gambit as well. Doji picks up two. Snacks and Taz going down with only one kill between them. And look at the position right now. We called it the Hobbit Hole. It is the Hobbit Hole. Out he goes, but only gets one. Bialy trades it immediately. Zeus is there to clean it up. Coming in the screen now, one AK to work with. Smoke's going in towards B. I don't think you want to be using a fake at this point. You just have to go all in. The B rush might just be happening once more. Nades, Molotovs, the like, all down, but all through as the smoke will extinguish and allow them to get in. There's this Molotov below the drop, the broken wall. Neo doesn't care. He goes in and finds Doja. Hobbit's trying to find an opportunity to strike. It may be now if he can slip up the alley. Instead, he just takes down Pasha. Bomb dropped. It's forward of the smoke as well. It's all on to Taz. One versus two. It's Tech 9 CZ, that's all they really can do. Full B Rush comes in, they do the smoke from T Spawn. Gives them that veil that you can see on the screen right now, but Adren, this is, the, this is why the Hudless, uh, the Hudless reach. Lovely P250. Timing of everything as well, Phelps goes down. Stewie has a gun at his disposal at the bottom of the stairs without information as to what's to his right inside of the hallway. But knows there's one more toward the park. It's cold that slipped in behind them. Nice play from Stewie. He's got a second. It's cold that has to pull this back. And there is an AK. Up lovely shot from Stewie. What a round he's having. Three kills. All three of them for him so far. Leaving automatic to try and make up for it. He'll get one, but there's two players still peeking this. He's got to go back inside of the site. They keep just running into these tight choke points one by one. They need to be very careful. 25 seconds remaining, and I'm not looking solid in this round. Pick up a kill there, and you might call it a round that's winnable. Still is, don't get me wrong, but it would have been much more likely as Phelps takes down Skadoodle. Stewie's arrived, though. He's got one on the UMP. Fallen's got Shroud back. It's all up to Stewie. They haven't got a bomb plant. It's 12 seconds. Bomb is in the site. Doesn't even matter. Fallen's just going to do it himself. Main. Back in toward the bank, Fallen will hold station for a moment longer. It's Dewey wants to get aggressive with the op. He wants to catch them off as they expect again a lag shot into Phelps. Or rather, Fur. Phelps goes down finally. But Cold enters through and Automatic is found inside a default denial. It's going to be Stewart trying desperately to make that op work and he can't do it. Still a two versus two. Good play from Fallen. Turns around, Shroud trades it back. But the bomb was planted in all of the chaos. And it's Cold versus Shroud once again. And it's Shroud for the second time that wins it. Kevin really wants to go that way. Don't really seem like they can decide right now. Looks like the A commitment will come in and Fur in a great position. If he does get baited by Fallen to maybe mow them down as they walk in. Fallen waiting. Smokes land. One of two nades thrown. Flashes follow up a second. Automatic there goes is. down. Lovely play from Fallen. Fallen again hits nothing and he goes out. Wow. Finds another in the round. He's very efficient on the A side. Op or not, he knows when to peek. Rotations for weights patiently as well. We'll pick up automatic. Fallen has a kill to make this two versus two and an upgraded weapon for Fur. Fallen will go to the window. Smoke's sure to be gone soon. That nade is significant from Fur as he walks out from Squeaky. He'll tag nothing down to 34. It did more damage to Skadoodle up close, put him on 69, but nothing was already low enough that it's still a matter and Skadoodle's found nothing has to be very smart inside of the water position. Fur getting out toward Monster. He'll clear and confirm that there's no one in that position. There's a kit on Fallen, so they can take the time to do this. And nothing's trying to play the gap to see if he walks in from Sandbags. Realizes now he's not likely to, but timing everything looked away at exactly the moment Fallen enters from his left. He's inside of the windows at Checker with Dennis. Meanwhile, Nico is trying to sneak up inside of apartments and Kerrigan, he's waiting for this. Smoke down to isolate Kerrigan's position so he can focus on the internals of the site with the AWP, but that becomes more of a pressing issue. With Dennis finding rain, Kerrigan down as well. It's just Jacob inside of the site, finds one. Doesn't know yet that Nico's on the flank, finds two. Nico's got to go aggressive, time ticking, no kit. And I think he's done enough. Nico's going to have to bail away oh, from this. Molotov, Molotov yeah. as well, very smart, grabs the AWP. And he should get away with 100 HP. Oscar backing away, smoke off on Palace. We'll spot them coming in, dinked up through the box. But the box takes a lot of damage off that bullet. So he actually stays with 70. He's gone lower than that since 36, but he's still wreaking havoc. He's got three kills, four inside of the site. That's Happy of himself. And here's a little replay. Great shot to kick things off. Carrigan launching himself into the bomb site first, and Oscar doesn't miss a beat here. Very, very good stuff from him. And it's going to tighten the score gap here, and it's going to be a fully kill from Faye. Allowing the pistols to do massive work. Burned alive in the side is Jacob, but it's still a three versus three, and another gun dropped. Pistol in position for Kiyoshima. Bomb down. And they've got to hold off Oscar. He's low as well. It's a Kiyoshima to pick up a gun. He's alone, at least for the moment. And he's tagged up Oscar once more with a running gun. Lines him up, can't get it. It's going to be Alu that has to clutch this back. Oscar's got no idea as to his position. And he's out. And he's, that's even smarter. Okay. And Alu's given his position away as well. So that's a problem. He shoots the bullet. If he lands it, it's going to be killing Oscar. But unfortunately, he's actually just given his position away. And Oscar's, uh, you know what? I'm out. I'm going towards the A bomb site, going to plant, and actually gives himself a much higher chance of winning the round now. 
19 HP though becomes an issue. Zalu gets inside of the site, no kit. Top jungle does have armor. Keep that in mind as it's UMP versus UMP. The penetration's one thing, but I punch entirely another. And it's sound cues to the favor of Oscar. He's played this very well indeed as he turns around and Alu's got no idea. VP for Oscar. And that was dropped over to make sure he had it. Yeah, okay then. All in. So Alu gets down bottom mid. Thinks, did he go all the way through underpass? I'm not 100% sure where he pushed in that. No, he's sitting at still just watching it. It's Kyushima above that I would have seen on X-Ray on Catwalk, but good opening from Oscar on B. Forces Kyo to have to turn his attention back, brings Jacob to the window, but Oscar opening it himself. And Jacob wants to go through this wow. move to catch them off. Look at Oscar go, a third for him. And to look toward the palace position is Lowell. We'll set for execution. Two at mid, no one covering off on window. And rotation's coming in through vents now with smokes on jungle and in front, or rather on top of the stairs. It's Jacob that has all the work to do. Alu, good pick on Lowell, reading the fact that they want to split. As he's isolated, puts his attention where it matters. And it's buying a lot of time, but Nico is buying a lot of space. He's about to get a free kill, finds it immediately, spots up another on top of the balcony. That's Jacob, who had to shut them down on the way through. And just like that, Nico's on fire and on form, sprays down Kiyoshima as well. And it's Kerrigan remaining. Four kills in the round for Nico. And Kerrigan locked out by a smoke with Bomb down, is going to head for the hills. Traveling mountains, used to find.